magic numbers are something that will perplex you if you've ever had to work in a legacy application or even your own code a couple months back. There's an old saying in programming that goes, when I wrote this code, only me and God knows what it did. A month later, now only God knows. So <laughs> that's that's an old saying. Uh, so we want to make it more readable and eliminate some of these magic numbers. Not really important what the code does. It's calculating an orbital period with an array of values. But what is this number? Do you know what 6367447 is? Or do you know what this 3984418 is? I honestly don't. I had to go back and rewatch a video where I did this. But you know what I could do to make this so much easier? So I could go and create this variable called earth radius and set it equal to this. Now I'm eliminating magic number one. That makes more sense where I'm going and getting the earth radius. And what I also could do to figure out what this is here is I could go and I could store that in a variable called the gravity metric and store that like so. And bam, now when we go and we have our gravity metric we know exactly what those numbers represent. There are no more of these magic numbers that are there, here or there, and all this other stuff. And we could even clear up A, B, and C to see what that is, make it a little bit more, a um, little bit more descriptive. But that's not what this is about. This is about these magic numbers that we can then go and provide context for what Earth radius is and what gravity metric is. And we'll actually circle back to a similar example of this of some items that we can do to improve this further. But for now, we'll stop right here. You know, I wanted to kind of make a point here about how hard it is sometimes to go back and retroactively do these things. You know, I wrapped this up and the editor was like, hey, why don't you go and fill in A, B, and C here just so that we complete it. And it makes a lot of sense, right? And I really struggled because they weren't descriptive variable names. Do I know what A is? I can probably figure this out. But really, the intent here is to have two pi. So, okay, cool. We can figure this one out. As I go in here and replace A there, do I really remember when I solved this what C is representative of this equation? The math pal plus the object's average alteration? No, not really, to be honest. I mean, we could make something up here just to give an example. So let's say this is like the grava. We're making stuff up for sure. Gravity circumference. Gravity circ reference. Sorry, I don't, I'm a bad speller. And we'll put that as our C. Then B. I can not really tell you. But maybe we'll just say the um, total gravimetric, right? You can definitely see how something in this where it's hard to go back and put yourself right back in that context without a lot of additional work and really start understanding, especially something so math heavy. But keep that in mind as you're going through here that, you know, when you're working in the code, that is the time to think about it because you're in it and it's all clicking and, you know, you know exactly what you're doing and when you're doing it. So with that being said, guys, let's go on to the next screencast.